This is question 6 from paper 1 from the new SQA Higher Specimen paper. We're first of all asked to find the equivalent expression for sine x plus 60 degrees. That's an expansion formula where in the formula sheet you're given this formula that sine a plus b is equal to sine a cos b plus cos a sine b. So that's the pattern that we're using. Now you'll notice that it's a sine cos cos sine pattern, that the a b and the a b, they keep the same order there. So you should know the symmetry of this and try and learn it. It's a useful formula to know by heart. So we've got a sine cos cos sine with the angles in this order. And I think that would uh, gain the, the mark for part A. Part B, let's have a look at that. We're asked, hence, therefore they're expecting us to use this result we've just written down. Hence, or otherwise, determine the exact value of sine 105. So how do we use this to get 105 degrees? Well, what do we add to 60 to get 105? It's 45 degrees. And you should be thinking, oh, exact values. We know the sines and cosines of 45s and 60s. So let's use this result. Uh, sine 45 cos 60 plus cos 45 sine 60. And we need to know what the exact values of these results are. So there's two diagrams we deal with. One is a square of side 1 and the other is a equilateral triangle of side 2. We chop them in half and create right angle triangles. Now Pythagoras in this first one gives you that hypotenuse as root 2. Pythagoras in this second one, we've chopped this in half so that side's 1 and Pythagoras 2 squared minus 1 squared is uh, 3, so root 3 for the third side there. And we know this is 45, and we know that's half of the 90 in a square, and we know this is 60, one of the three angles in an equilateral triangle. So sine 45, we now use our so ka toa mnemonic, something that you can remember these by. So opposite over hypotenuse, 1 over root 2, cos 60, adjacent over hypotenuse, that's 1 over 2, cos 45, 1 over root 2, and sine 60, root 3 over 2. So multiplying fractions, we multiply the top two numbers, we multiply the bottom two numbers. Top two numbers multiplied, and the bottom two numbers multiplied. Because these fractions have the same denominator, we can then add the numerators together. 1 plus root 3. Now that would be perfectly acceptable answer, and you would get full marks for that. I have a habit of wanting to get rid of roots that are on the, on the denominator of a fraction. In this case, we would maybe multiply top and bottom by root 2. So all the terms in the top line get multiplied by root 2. We get a 1 times the root 2 plus a root 3 times the root 2, which would give us a root 6. And on the bottom line, 2 times root 2 times root 2. Root 2 is equal to 2 that comes to 4 altogether. So there's another version of it, a single fraction, exact value, root 2 plus root 6, all divided by 4.